we can't move on from what we haven't worked through. Most people will agree with that. However, their actions reflect that they don't agree with it. Because what people try to do, well-meaning Christians try to do, is they try to pray away what they've been through. And certainly there's power in prayer. My gosh, it's, our, it's, it's God's open door to us anytime, any place. We never have to wait in line. Prayer is full of power. But the, what, what God will do is he will give us spiritual discernment and direction in prayer. And then that's where we are to take that revelation, information, and put it into action. Because people that know me often say that, you know, Noah didn't build the ark by sitting on the sofa. He built the ark by getting up. He heard what the Lord spoke to him, and he got up and he started doing it, even though it was difficult. It, he was mocked and teased, and uh, it took a long time. But he was able to fulfill the promise that God made to him because he took what it was told in prayer and carried it out. In application. So what happens is people get stuck in trying to pray away, you know, uh, their pain. You know, uh, I say time passes, but our hurts don't. What we've got to remember is that whatever we experience, whatever issue is holding us back, it happened in the context of a relationship. So it must be healed in the context of a relationship, but it has to be a healthy one. And so what the, a person has to do is they've got to get into uh, spirit-filled counseling. They've got to get into some type of uh, group therapy, uh, preferably you know, spirit-filled uh, group therapy. They've got to get into a very uh, structured Bible study that is focused on disclosure um, and, you know, uh, self-exploration, asking the Lord to search your heart. Um, they can get into some type of small group study. Um, but it has to be the, the healing, the, whatever issue is holding them back, must be worked through in the context of relationship. You know, God, you can begin to talk about it with God and he will give us he will give us direction the holy spirit lives in us 24/7 to guide us and prompt us through it but we've got to do that face to face with people and let me tell you why it's so powerful it's because we the distortions that were learned in our thoughts and the the pain that was experienced in our heart is purged uh it's it's taken out so when I am in a healthy setting, I will internalize the things that are of God's truth and they will begin, this will begin to replace my thought patterns. And then it will begin, this truth will begin as I open up my heart and am vulnerable and share with this group or, you know, spirit-filled therapist, the, the, the truth will begin to fill in and take the place of the harm that was done to my heart. Okay, but what many people try to do is they mentally try to process the pain, and you can't. The you know it's it's the pain didn't happen in our head; it happened in our heart. And I'm so emphatic about this because it just breaks my heart the number of Christians that are stuck who are trying to figure this out by sitting on the sofa, and 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 you know reading their Bible and and, and all of that which we should be doing, but it has to be done with people. So I think I've said that like a thousand times now. So let me hear what you have to say. Does this make sense to you? Tell me what, uh, you know, your, what kind of roadblocks you run into um, or just ask questions because it's probably something that someone else wants to know. But I just pray that you'll do it. Talk to you soon.